So here we are doing more of an agricultural style fence. We call this a Kentucky three rail. And so the finished product here is gonna have two by four inch square field wire stapled onto the outside. It's gonna be trimmed out. And a lot of people choose this fence for pet containment because it looks much better than your standard galvanized chain link fence, but it runs right about the same price. So what we get is pet containment. We get a nice rural look to the fence, and we've also installed this well within city limits, and it looks great. It's honestly just a good choice with the poplar. Just a little different look than, you know, standard pressure-treated board. Um, still definitely weatherproof, and um, it's just, honestly, it's been a big hit this year. So what is the uh, average price range that most people think they have to pay for the fence like this to contain their pet? So, I mean, a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of numbers thrown out in the fencing industry that like chain link starts at about $10 a foot, and that's true, whereas some privacy fences start at about $16 and can go all the way up to $25, where this fence, you know, you're only paying $10 to $11 per foot with the wire. So, you know, in the, in the namesake of saving some money and still saving your curb appeal of your home, this is a great option. So this is not done yet. This is gonna have what? Show me where it's gonna have. Yeah, stuff. so it's gonna have 48 inch wire. So our wire is gonna be about an inch down, going all the way to the ground. Okay. And then we're gonna have vertical trim boards covering every post. And that's the same material as we're seeing here run horizontal. So it's gonna be fully encapsulated. Everything's using galvanized fasteners. So we don't expect any rot out of that, no rusting. Um, it's really going to be a great lifespan of a fence, uh, about the same as a chain link, so I'd expect about 20 years out of this fence, maybe 25. This is going to be a beautiful fence. When are you going to finish it? Probably tomorrow. We'll probably wrap it up tomorrow afternoon. So we're doing about 720 feet uh, with five gates. So with our crew, we're looking at about four days, maybe a little bit more just to tighten some things up on Friday. If this information was helpful to you, helpful to you please like this, tag a person that might need to see this or share this on your page. And if you would like a free estimate from Tim's Fencing, you do free estimates, right? We do. Go to timsfencing.com and give them a call for a free estimate. All right, we'd love to hear from you.